hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel i am trying to keep my promise about being more consistent so here is a video and we are just going to get straight into it um i'm going to be talking about the things that i have noticed that have changed in my life since having vsg surgery let's get into it i can definitely say that i've noticed that has changed for me since having vsg surgery is that strangers are nicer to me now what does that mean um when i was like 300 plus pounds like nobody was really coming up to me like having conversation neither male nor female really not really um now i could be at a grocery store or walmart wherever and minding my business, minding my black ass business, and somebody will just come up to me and just start having conversation. Now, I'm not used to that, you know? One, because like, I won't say that I'm not a people person. I can be, but I can be very introverted when I want to, um, just because like, I don't know. I don't like being tied up with too many people's energies, but I digress. So with me being semi introverted and again, not used to people doing that, like having friendly banter with me for the sake of it, like with no underlying reason for it, it's weird. It's really weird to me <laughs> and it shouldn't be weird to me because I should be, you know, feeling worthy of friendly conversation and friendly behavior but being overweight for the vote for the vast majority of your life um you get to see how people really treat you so I guess unlearning and relearning some things you know but we we gonna get there eventually but yeah like I remember there was a time where people wouldn't even hold the door for me I've had doors like slammed in my face and now it's just like people are walking up to me talking to me just for the hell of it like okay <laughs> uh this is new the thing that i will say has dev has changed for me since having vsg surgery um and losing uh 88 pounds I think it would be like I'm more open to going to certain events. Now, I'm not fully open the way I would want to be. Like, there's a part of me deep, 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 deep down inside that I want to just go to the club and shake her ass. But I can't get, I can't tap into that just yet. Let that thought out. Let it out. Let that thought out. You've been conservative all winter. You've been chilling all winter. You have not been dealing with anybody all winter. Let that thought out. And I don't know if that's like a size related issue or if it's just like a personality thing for me or how I was brought up and how I carry myself. I don't know. And I'm not saying shaking your ass in the club is like bad behavior. It's just like, it's just not normal for me because it's not something that I would do. So, but there's a part of me that want to do it and I want to do it, but it's hard for me to tap in. Like, I can't let that thought out. Like, I, I can't let her out. I can't let her out just yet. But I am more open to going to different events um, depending on what they are, I'm more open to like meeting friends of a friend with their reason, still <laughs> with their reason. But overall, I am more open to certain experiences and doing new things despite my size. Um, a lot of re a lot of the reasons why I wouldn't want to go out is literally just because of that fact alone. So. Um, now I find myself wanting to go outside, wanting to, you know, be out, be amongst people, not to necessarily socialize with them, but because I want to be out. I definitely am more open to new adventures, new possibilities within reason. 
Um, <laughs> how my life has. I'm bold. Or it's not that noticeable. Bold, 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 bold. So I got the wig on right now. I got my helmet on. <laughs> but I am I am bald underneath here. Um, not like smooth bald, but I I did cut pretty much the both the vast majority of my hair off. Um. For those who are thinking about getting weight loss surgery and the process of getting weight loss surgery and or post-op weight loss surgery of any kind, one of the things that your surgeon, nutritionist, whomever is going to tell you is that there is a possibility you will lose your hair because of the fact of, you know, the lack of calories, lack of nutrients, your body's trying to catch up. Things are going to happen. Um, so unfortunately, like I was just one of those ones who lost their hair. So I was just like, I could try to grow it out and keep growing it. But I had like a bald spot in the middle of my head. I had a bald spot like on the side. I had like a weak spot over here. It just wasn't worth it anymore. It wasn't worth it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna cut it off. And um, for those who do not follow me on Instagram, uh, I will show you a picture of like what I look like bald. I wanted to put my wig on today just because I did. I need a haircut and I need a shape up. So I'm not feeling it right now. But as soon as I go to the barber on Friday, I'm going to take this wig off. But yeah, so uh, that has been a transformation for me personally. I am a huge believer in my hair being linked to um my femininity and it was a huge transition now going bald um i i still feel that my hair is linked to my femininity but not in the same way that it was before like even when i get a haircut i'm not doing no sharp line i'm not trying to look like no nigga like <laughs> i just i want it to be very soft so, um, now I know that length, length doesn't necessarily equate to being fem feminine because there are a lot of beautiful women with short hair and or bald. So that's just something that I'm going, I'm learning on my journey. I'm sorry. I heard my dog get into something and I'm about to try and see what she doing. Delta. What do you have in your mouth? Give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. You can't see her because she's like under. She's under, but she's like over here wrecking habit. Um, but yeah. Uh, are you just morphia? No, I know I did a video on this, and if you have not seen that video, I will link that video in this video somewhere. But yeah, it hasn't really gotten any better. You would think like the more you come down, the more and more you'll get. You see your reflection, and I am ish. It's just not. It's not an everyday thing. I have definitely learned that I need to take more pictures in my journey because these pictures, sorry, I had to listen for her. Like no one, I, I know people told me like having a dog is like having a kid, but I didn't know it would be to like this extent. Like, I think she just eating. Yeah, she just eating, she just chewing. But <laughs> I have to like listen out for her to make sure she's not getting into into anything. Um, but yeah, so the I need to take more pictures and make sure that I'm able to compare myself because like I will still think that I am this girl right here, and I'm not. I'm not her anymore. Like there's aspects of her that's still within me that I love, but physically she's not me anymore so i have to kind of regroup and get back onto it and it's a process guys like it's not it's it's not going to be like an overnight thing i am like what seven months post-op and i'm still having issues i'm still learning my way like this this is a lot you know and like i said from day one from video one 
I want to be as most transparent as I can with my journey because I know it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows all the time. So there's days where I feel like I'm still 300 some pounds and it sucks, but I have to remind myself of how far I came and how far my journey still needs to go. Like, you know, I'm at the midpoint. I'm not even done yet. Um, I would say the last thing that has changed in terms of my um, life post-op VSG is you really see who's really happy for you and who's not in terms of your progress. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but you see who's really happy for you and who's not like as you keep going on this journey and I am grateful to have such great friends and such great supporters um within my circle but I have also had some people that are real life haters and it's just like you was cool with me when I was fat <laughs> but now you know I'm trying to change up and like you got like the backhanded compliments and stuff like that. And, and you know, and that's fine. Like, because let them show themselves out. And that way you can weed out who you need in your life or who you don't. So I don't think it necessarily takes weight loss for you to have people like that, like show themselves. But for me, me losing over 80 pounds definitely had I guess ruffled a few feathers because you know people don't think you really gonna go through it and get get it done but it is what it is you can only worry about yourself right but that's it guys I just wanted to keep this very short I didn't want to babble on um everybody's journey is going to be unique to you based on your circumstances and your own life and how you go through it but I guess my pro tip would be to take everything day by day and don't give up because there's days where I feel like I'm doing horrible and in realistic, like you're not, <laughs> you're just human and you, you probably just fucked up one time and you just need to get back on track or whatever. You don't just unlearn everything just because you get the new stomach. It's a day by day process and I'm learning that myself. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support of the video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, if you know anybody who is within the bariatric community or is going to enter the bariatric community, share my channel with them. So that way they can get a little insight in terms of what their life may or may not be like and some pro tips. Um, I think that's it, guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.